Hi everyone, it's Paul from Touchboard here and today I'm going to show you how to use your Touchboard with your business. Okay, so with your Touchboard, you've got all these amazing features. You have Android built into it as well. So this is the Android page. You can also add on your uh, a little mini PC, an OPS, connect your own laptop to it. You can wireless mirror. But I'll be going into Windows in a second and I'll show you what you can do with Windows and your touch board. You use Windows on a daily basis, so it'd be great to integrate with this and you can also use some of the Android features on Windows too. So with your board, you can actually change the settings as well. So when you if you wanted to start up, it could go straight to OPS. Android, Android has some great features as well. And the Android features are um, on our YouTube channel. We've done a whole video on the whiteboard, the files, the wireless mirroring, the browser, the app store. So you can check that out on the Touchboard Australia YouTube channel. I'll go into our OPS, that's a little computer that slots into the side. So the great thing is you have a wireless system, which is awesome. You can type on the bar, a floating keyboard will also come up. So you can start writing on your screen. Or I've got, with your touch board, you have universal USB ports. So if I plug the wireless keyboard dongle into the front, my OPS picks that up and I have my wireless keyboard and mouse. So I can start typing now. So you've got the best of both worlds. If you want to present on screen, you can use on screen keyboard. If you want to present somewhere else or do something, you may, might find it easier using your mouse and keyboard. You can use that too. Okay, Microsoft, has evolved pretty good. You have drawing features now on Microsoft Word. They have Microsoft Whiteboard. You can calibrate and collaborate and share on Teams. You can do that with Microsoft Whiteboard as well. And you've got Microsoft OneNote. So I'll just, I'm not an expert in all of these, but I've worked out a few features that look pretty nice and I'm sure people that are experts that will find a lot more features and a lot more benefits. First of all, let's go Microsoft Word. Everyone uses Microsoft Word. As you can see, your screen's interactive as well. So interactivity isn't limited to Android or something else. It's universal, it's all the way around. I have a camera here too, great for Teams. Makes a great document reader as well. Okay, so we're on Microsoft Word. What's, um, what makes Word great with this panel? We can type. We've got our on-screen keyboard here. You can also share this too. So you can share your document with other people. Attach it as a PDF, you can chuck it into other formats like Microsoft Word Whiteboard. Okay, you can draw. You can now draw on Word. So we can draw here. And look how fluent that is with your panel. There's no drag, there's no delay. And you've got other little nice little tools with this. We've got highlighter. So we can go there. We've got an eraser. We can erase here, erase there. You can change your thickness of your eraser as well. So imagine you have Microsoft Word. We can share that. We'll um, touch it. So you can share that to OneDrive, your Google Cloud. I'll just quickly go into something else now. We'll X out of there. Uh, we won't save. Don't save. All right, so we'll bring up one note. Uh, 
have it here. This was something I was um, mucking around on the other day. Uh, let me change a few things on this. Um, can we go and move? All right, so this is one note. So I was just doing something the other day on house prices and I found an interesting PDF and I thought I could put that into my one note. Talk to, if I was in real estate, I could talk to my team regarding this. So I've just plugged in my OneDrive, we'll go here, demo page, we'll insert it as a printout. Good thing about inserting it as a printout is it brings up the it, it opens the file up for you. It brings everything up. So here we go. Open. Insert. This is the file that comes up. So it's like eight pages. Um but in here you've got your notes, you've got your file here, I can start drawing here, we can start making notes on here. So what year did this happen? Uh, 1994, let's highlight this. Housing loan commitments, rate hikes, let's go scroll up the page. So you've got your PDF here. And you can have your notes here. You want to do some shapes. We've got an arrow. So we go, you can go right, I want my arrow here. Select my pen. Select my arrow. There we are here. Then you can start typing as well. Uh, we'll go, sir. Insert anymore. We want to type. So my on screen keyboard comes back up. Or you can use your other keyboard. I go right. Let's make that a bit bigger. I can use my mouse. With that, uh, homepage, go all right. We want that number 20. So it's just a message there. And you can move that along. Go there. So these are things that are built into, that are with Microsoft. And sometimes you're wondering, oh, this is too difficult to do on my laptop to get mouse and to draw. Well, you don't actually need to do that anymore. If you've got a big presentation tool like your touch board, you can go with this. And again, you've got your sharing options. Type the email, who do you want to share with? Can they edit as well? Can they add their input? Bring it back. So there's more on this as well. There's a lot more. You've got your shapes. You can have a ruler here too. And again, great with your board. Look at this. I can bring in the angles here. Zero degrees, that's a straight line. I'll go, right, I want to change my pen color. You've got your line there. Then you go, right, 30, 44. That sounds good. Take your ruler away. Your mass. It solves equations for you. So we, we didn't invent this software. We invented the panel and it works brilliantly with the software. It's such a good collaboration. We've got more things here. You've got pencils, highlighters, ink to shape. So I'll make a poor effort of trying to draw a square here. It should correct it for me. 
Come on. There we are. That's pretty good. Let's try a circle. I love it. So it even makes the worst drawers pretty good. Okay, so that's your one note. Now I'm gonna go to Excel. It's pretty much self-explanatory. I've never been that great myself on Excel. But it's good for data, data entry. You got a list of clients. Um, again, you got your keyboard here. What month? Right, January. How many cameras did we sell in January? So you write your heading, bring it up here. Now, Microsoft Whiteboard. This is one of my favorites. Here we are here. These are whiteboards I've done in the past. So I'll bring this one up and you can you can share this. You could share this with someone over in Europe, America, South America. I brought up, um, this was me just doodling the first time I used whiteboard. Can take that away. We can move this along. We can make these bigger, smaller. You got your percentage here as well. So it's gone pretty huge there. And I've also put on, taken it off a PDF, put it on here. I went right 100% on this. So this was um, our old panel, the version three. We're now in the version four. But it was great just to grab the PDF on it, split the pages and then just paste it on my whiteboard. What I'll do for you is I'll create a new one and then I'll show you some really good features. So we'll go home page, new whiteboard. Here we are. Post-it notes. What color would you like? Great reminder. Dinner at 6 p.m. We're done. That's posted. You can put that anywhere. We can make it smaller, bigger. Dinner at 6. Right, what else do we have? text uh, well we'll write the text here and then we can move it soccer 7 p.m okay where can we move that to can we move that along i'll move my keyboard for a minute okay There we are. So I can grab that, just move that there. Uh, templates. We can chuck in some templates that Microsoft have. Strategy, uh, assumption grid, cost benefit analyst. Okay, cool. Low cost, high bet. These are things that will help. What else do we have? Problem solving. Okay. Shapes, images, documents. I'm actually looking for, do we have any backgrounds? That's your own images. So you can add on your pictures, your documents. I'll leave that there. With your shapes, you can fill your shapes and there's things called layers. So you can add this to the front or the back, send it to the back. So that goes on top of that. Now that's on top of that. You can make your shape a bit hollow. 
we go green actually we want nothing in there because we want to maybe add names or do something else the ruler showed you earlier so you're able to lasso that away as well so they're stuck you got your lasso all right we want to put that there type something in there i can go on a teams meeting and i could bring this up with whoever i'm having a meeting with so if i go to here we'll leave that but what i want to do is i want to go on teams now you can have a teams me in over our wikipedia page or but i'll go whiteboard so teams has lots of options too you got notes okay so i could go right let's invite someone in my teams let's start a meeting so i'm going to just call my personal account just to show you what it's like so if i go meet that's my setup that's my virtual background. So if I stay still, there's my camera that gets me now. I'm gonna press accept to this. Should be connecting. <laughs> just press join now there's going to be an echo just because I've got two computers besides near each other but this is me on my other computer so I'm going to come to the front now okay so I'm back I might turn down my PC audio because this is going to be confusing. Okay, audio is all going to go down. So audio on both devices are now muted. That's my background. This is me here. All right, share. Let's go to share. And um, we'll go from here Microsoft Whiteboard. So I now, I'll just go on new whiteboard. Anything I do on here, my partner from Teams sees the same information. There we are. You can make this board bigger. You can go pop out. When you do pop out, your partner hasn't disappeared. You just have made the screen larger. They can, they can still hear you perfectly fine. The main focus is in your, um, is in your content and your presentation. So you can add a note, you can add a text there. Just draw a line here, twist that around. There we are. As well as all this, you can still go annotation mode on your um, on your touch board. I've covered that in other videos. So you don't need to rely on just what Microsoft has given you as well. I can press F11 on that screen, make that even more bigger. Uh, so it brings it up there. You can also, you can still wireless mirror. 
you can still jump in and out of PC, Android, go in your browser, look something else up. You've got a freeze button here. You can come on as a guest. I'm just back to Android now. You can come on as a guest and uh, go Windows K, which means you can you can mirror you can mirror your laptop to your screen. So if you haven't got if you've got something specific that's on your laptop and you find it easier to put your laptop information on here. Then you can just go Windows K, your laptop screen comes up. I'll actually show you. You bear with me two seconds. Here we go. Here I am. That was, I'll go back to the previous screen. So that's interactive. So I was on Teams with the OPS on here and that's what I did earlier on this one. So here I still am. This is interactive as well. So I can go right, I can move that up and down. I can go, there we are. And I can still go into other applications. So the, there's a lot of choices out there for, for yourself, for your business, whatever you need to do. This is a great presentation tool. Zoom, Teams, document sharing, communicating adding on notes upon notes to printed text to books to anything you want so a lot of choices thank you for watching